What is going on? It is Andy here and a dog fight in Home Depot was caught on camera and shared on TikTok to a tune of over 6 million views. Let's take a look. We don't see what caused the dog fight, but we can see a large crowd of customers and employees attempting to pull apart the two dogs. There's a large dog on a leash and a small dog off leash who appears to be injured. Come on, get up. You gotta go. Get up. You gotta help him. No! Come on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Your neck is. Your neck is. Yes. Your neck is. Okay. We gotta take her! At this point in the video, the larger dog has left, and the two owners of the smaller dog are obviously panicking and start hunting for the big dog. Get the dog! 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 The video ends with the owners running out of the store, so we don't know what happened after this incident, if the police were called, or if they even found the larger dog, but that video alone has sparked a lot of opinions online. Many users thought the owners of the small dog were acting a bit over the top though. One user commented, LMAO, that lady is extra, and another said, Karen's put on a live show, realistic. Now we've reported on a lot of Karen videos from over the past few years, as you know. From people screaming at service workers to fighting over parking spaces, there have been a lot of crazy overreactions caught on camera. But not everyone online thought this video fits with our other Karen content. One comment defended the owner's reaction saying, her dog could have died and you guys are saying she's dramatic. Wow. And another TikTok user posted, I don't think it's wrong for this lady to be so upset. It's sad, sometimes pets are closer family than real families. People need to control their pets. Regardless of this reaction being overdramatic or not, some people have blamed Home Depot for allowing dogs in the store in the first place. One viewer commented, no dog should be allowed into regular stores, only pet shops. I have been in a regular store caught between two dogs about to go at it in line. And another said, if they aren't service dogs, they shouldn't be in stores. Home Depot doesn't have a company-wide pet policy, but it appears that most stores are dog-friendly for both service animals and regular pets. Rover.com ranked Home Depot as the number two most dog-friendly store in America, and EntirelyPets.com ranks it as number one. Clearly, the store has a reputation for allowing dogs, but some users online also blame the owners for bringing their dog shopping in the first place. One comment reads, um, people, just a thought, leave your dog at home. They will be fine at home without you, lol. Another said, I don't blame the dogs, I blame the people. Keep them home where they're safe. Another major debate around this video revolves around the dog breed seen in the video. While unconfirmed, many people thought the larger dog appeared to be a pit bull. And if you didn't know, there is a stigma that pit bulls have a reputation for being violent and an aggressive dog breed. The stigma is so bad that people are so fearful of pit bulls that the breed is banned around the world. Not a Bully, a pit bull advocacy organization, shared that a list of almost 30 states in the US have some kind of ban or restrictions on pit bulls, as well as 11 other countries with similar regulations or bans. Some viewers blamed the fight on the supposed pit bull, commenting, let me guess, pit bull slash pit bull mix. Ah yes, save your breath people, I know they're such great dogs until they do this, they are bred for this. And I don't blame that lady one bit, it could have bitten a child too, that breed is so unpredictable. Others defended the breed saying, the pit bull is on leash, the smaller dog is not. Most little dogs tend to be big bullies. Who knows what really happened, but the lady is super extra. And even this comment. It's amazing they immediately blame the pit bull when it's on a leash and the little dog is not. Haha, <laughs> old lady's fault. Keep your dog on a leash. Where's my purse? I just dropped my purse, somebody, please. Please, get the field dog man! Get the field dog man! Get the dog man! Get the field 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 dog man! In the end, it's your own liability if you have your dog off leash. For more trending news, find us at whatstrending.com and find me at Andy Luani.